How's it going everyone? I thought I'd just do one last quick video about Mullen Automotive uh, before the markets open uh, for Monday. Uh, and focusing on the question, could we see some more short squeeze action in the stock? And in short, the answer for that is actually yes. Uh, not saying that it's gonna happen or not, I can never do that. But um, if you look at the short style that we've got right now, over 20% of the float is held short. It's been held, that's been above 20% for quite some time. But what is quite interesting is by the end of last week, the cost to borrow had crept up to 170%. So it's more than double the pressure that was on um, short positions, uh, you know, earlier in the week. So, you know, there is uh, a bit of a need for them to cover positions. And when you factor in that Mullen Automotive has actually had two weeks in the green, if these people have been shorting the stock for a couple of weeks, uh, that interest fee is starting to bite because the stock's trading higher than um, they likely got in at. Uh, unless that, you know, obviously there were people who would have jumped in on the shorts uh, at the peak of those, those rallies that we saw last week. So there is, um, I believe, capacity for a short squeeze, uh, whether it be a day or two or in length, who knows? I don't. I honestly don't think Mullen's going to have some like mega short squeeze of the likes we saw of GameStop a few years ago. It's not in the cards for it. Um, and the other thing that Mullen or Mob has going for it too, in terms of a short squeeze, is the float count is so small. There aren't many um, shares available in general in the the company, and what that means is it means that the stock can have like obviously much more volatile movements because um, you know there's not like hundreds of millions of shares available we're talking about a few million shares that are being traded and many of which are being held you know long term so you know there's definitely you know uh, a bit of a powder keg situation there but the only problem model automotive has going for it is that uh there's very poor sentiment so any sort of as we've seen too any sort of short squeeze rally we've had has been kind of short-lived uh, the momentum um doesn't really last more than a day or so uh, that being said, if there is some good some good news catalyst, uh, particularly on Monday, there's a good chance we could see uh, the stock uh, shoot up again, I believe. But, um, you know, I still firmly believe that whatever um, happens in terms of a short squeeze, if there is one, it's going to be another short-lived instant instance. Um, there's generally been cool sentiment in the stock and, you know, people just lost a bit of interest in Marlon Automotive. Yeah, anyway, um, I hope you guys all had a great weekend and it's a good week ahead of you for your for your stocks and everything else in life. Yeah, and so until next time, share your thoughts and mull in the comments below and I'll catch up soon. May the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.